Huh? No, they're 32, 32, huh? <laughs> Just curious, how much are you selling the scooter board? The electric one? Yeah. 50. 50. Yes. You've been pretty busy today? What's that? You've been pretty busy? Yeah, in yeah, waves. <laughs> Which is good. I'll take well, it. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, I'll change. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too. Here, I'll watch it for you. Yeah? Okay. Good. Make sure no one steals these. Yeah, okay, everybody will take okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> it's gone already? No. no. Sorry. We <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was gone for two seconds. <laughs> does, does this work? It does. It does. If there's any problem, come back. <laughs> I will, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it as Let's well. Take this. Yeah. Okay. Three. Oh. Pretty much taking all your big stuff. Good. Yeah, go for it. I'll take some seats, that's a dollar, and then this. So five, six, in and that. Seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars? Um, you can do a dollar. Thank you. Do you want me to help you carry? I'm good, I'll come back to it. What do you have in this ugly hat? What's that? What do you have in this ugly hat? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what she had, but let me give me a... Uh, what, what do you want for the hat? What are we doing? Oh, I'm just doing a quarter for the hat. A quarter? I, I can burn it for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So if you guys want to go back in time and see how amazing my content used to be, I'm going to probably link a video right here. We can go to my video, sort uh, oldest to newest, and click on vlog number eight. My eighth ever video I put out on this channel. It was September 2019. That is the first time I ever bought an 8-track in my life, and I had no clue what it was. I remember I was at a yard sale. I got a whole box of 8-tracks for $10, and ever since that day, I fell in love with 8-tracks. And it seems like I'm by myself in this love, because wherever I go, I see resellers trashing 8-tracks, saying that those things are worthless, don't look at them, don't buy them. And I'm like, I made so much money off of 8-tracks in my life, why are people hating on 8-tracks? And right here is no exception. I paid $1.50 for all of those tracks right there. I only sold three so far, but the three that I sold sold for seven, eighteen, and sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. I sold a Rush A track for sixty dollars. That's eighty-five dollars in sales from a dollar and fifty cents purchase. Do you guys believe there is some money in A tracks now? <laughs> And then the other ones that didn't sell, I should have about 30 bucks when they all sell. So that's 115 potential dollars out of only a buck 50 spent. Atrex are easy to list, easy to look up. They ship media mail, which is very affordable to the buyer. Win, win, win. Uh, I love selling Atrex. If you guys see Atrex, do not walk past them. There is definitely some money to be made. So I completely forgot about these shirts that I bought here and they were just rescued from my death pile the other day when I was cleaning out my warehouse. So this is the, the Sonic shirt for 20 and this is the, the Marvel one for 16 and I kept the Nickelodeon one for myself. Should we start adding it up? Yeah, try to put it in. Yeah, root. All right. Excuse me? How many? Can you use this box right here? Yes. Let's see. You have reached your destination. You. Destination is on your left. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> That's about time I reached here. Right? Reached your destination. Uh, I've been here for ten minutes already. <laughs> and, and they just told you that you reached it. Yep. <laughs> I would talk personally to them when you have a chance and uh, see what they have to say. They weren't sure for ten minutes, but they're like, I oh, know. They weren't sure for ten minutes. <laughs> you, you, you're here. You're here. You're here. <laughs> Nick, I had that whole box back there. Oh, okay. Two. Right. You got two. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay, so we're up to four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. These are all ones. Yeah. How many are there? Three. Three. 
And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 DVDs. 14. 14 and they're uh, they were 50 cents. Sure. 14. So seven more dollars. Sure. Okay, so plus seven dollars yep. is 19 in the total. Good. Can I take the, the box with me? Uh, Pardon? Can I take the box? You can take the box, yeah. sure. Okay, one back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How you doing? Good. Still morning? Is it still morning? It is still morning. Okay. Right? <laughs> but now it's since like seven, so I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> you have been pretty busy? Or? We were yeah, we very have. busy earlier, that's, yeah. That's good. It's good we news. Have about half of the stuff left. Oh. How much is the dog? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot afford her, believe me. No. <laughs> what do these rims fit? They are for a Toyota minivan. Uh, Sienna? Yeah. Yeah, Sienna. How much are you asking on them? Uh, they're 300 for the whole set. So what we just like to pick up was a candelabra, a Mexican candelabra. It's called the Tree of Life. Beautiful terracotta uh, candelabra. Really caught my attention. Really vibrant, like Southwest colors. Uh, did I know it was called the Tree of Life when I picked it up? No, I didn't. Um, also, I couldn't run any comps on it, so I had no clue what it was worth. Uh, I just took a chance. What I learned recently, mainly from watching uh, Kayla's videos, Homeschool and Picker, is that anything that um, looks unique, interesting, different, um, quality, is probably going to be worth something. So I took a chance on this, and it sold. It sold in like three days on Facebook for $85. If this yard sale had happened like three months before, four months before, I probably would have walked right past it. Because back then I was really focused on what I knew and I was afraid to take chances. Uh, the reseller that I am now, I am willing to take as many chances as I can because if I'm right, it's great. If I'm wrong, it's a learning experience. And so I also want to like, encourage you guys to go out there and not be afraid to take chances as well. Uh, also, while I was there, I bought this turtle. Uh, I could not make out the marking on it. So I'm not sure if it's a hobbyist piece or if it's just some well-known um, clay artist that made it, but it was a really cool looking turtle. I picked it up and it's I'm selling this for $25 right now. I'll take these two right here. Great. How much do you have on the clubs, by the way? Um, how much for the clubs? It's five bucks for that whole thing. Everything here? Yeah, there's yep. some balls in the pockets. And... Mostly it's five bucks for the caddy and the clubs come along free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll take it as well. You'll take that too? Yeah. Okay. So that's $12. Alrighty. Should have. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Right. Can you help with that? I'm good. The lighter things if you, if you got it. It's, it's right. on wheels. It is on wheels. <laughs> Thank you. So I wouldn't ever recommend buying Dunlop clubs, like ever. So don't tell Evan or Casey or Julian that I bought them. But for $5, I couldn't say no. Like I am selling the clubs for $45. i am selling the bag for $50. And then during the springtime, I'll probably sell the caddy for like another 30 or 40 bucks locally as well. So that $5 that I could potentially turn into around $120. Yeah, I couldn't say no to that deal. What do you have on these guys? Um, you asked Andre, this gentleman's interested in some of these 
What do you want? All the moan stuff and the sink here. So. Or the faucet. The. Thirty bucks. You know, this faucet's worth like uh, two thirty by itself. Really? Okay. What is this? I can't. I can't tell from. Uh, towel bar. I uh, just look at towel the picture. bar. Look at the picture on the. On somewhere there's a picture uh, by your hand, your right hand. Uh, okay. It's a double towel bar. Cool. Yes, yeah, I'll give you thirty first. Thank you. I owe you money. Yeah. Uh, three. Oh, three. I, you owe me three, or I owe you three? You owe me three. I like it better if I owe you two. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're welcome. What about this guy? Five. That one, I think, is polished nickel. Okay. So you're at 35. Really cute. It is. <laughs> Are you taking the toilet leave or no? No. Yeah, 35. You need change? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know what George is doing? He's staring at the donuts on his socks. <laughs> <laughs> Go get them, George. Go get the donuts. Go get them. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. He is there. Yeah, that? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, he's not a dumb dog. <laughs> That's a good boy. Did you get donuts? <laughs> Uh, three bags. Yep, 15, and 16, then. 17. Yep. So I need, I need to give you Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Yep. Okay, guys. So we are now back uh, at the warehouse. And I want to talk to you guys here about that Moan purchase and the rest of the sinks and all those cool stuff right there. Uh, I've been talking about the Moan brand. Pretty sure it's pronounced Moan. Could be Moan, 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 Monet. I don't know. I think it's pronounced Moan. Uh, I talked about it earlier in one of my 127 videos of Kayla and how that brand is a bolo and you always want to pick up that stuff because it sells for a lot of money. So I was actually really surprised to see that that stuff was still there. I went to this house, it was probably around 1 p.m. on Saturday, so it was my last stop of the day. And I was like, wow, there's still Moan here, there's still Cotopaxi bags here. Like Cotopaxi is another bolo brand for hiking bags you guys saw me buy three of them i was like wow i'm so so surprised to see all that stuff still there so um uh, i spent 35 dollars total on everything that was there to this day i sold a um moan towel ring for 35 dollars so just the one towel ring paid for all that stuff there and i also sold a moan valve for a hundred uh, then the, the towel rack, I still am listing for 55. And then the two mirror belt things, I have, I had the small rack listed for 30, the brush nickel rack, and uh, the brush nickel rack, rack, the brush nickel rack I have listed for 30. And then the sink that's over there, I have listed for $250. And I'm waiting for uh, somebody to buy it. The sink is, right here with the rest of the stuff right there so that was an awesome awesome pickup that's my last stop of the day all together in this video you guys saw me spend a hundred dollars on every yard sale that i went to and to this day i have 735 dollars in sales and another potential of 770 in future sales which gives us 
a grand total of $1,505 out of $100 spent. Awesome, awesome. Watching these videos back just reminded me of how fun yard sales are. Just makes me miserable being right here right now because right now it's January 3rd, I believe. Today is January 3rd. It's snowing outside, <laughs> it's cold, it's like 28 degrees and I'm like, can spring come fast enough? Cause I already have the itch to go out and uh, buy more things at uh, yard sales. But that's gonna be it for me guys. Thank you like always for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.